What's up guys? It's Double Nix and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about ticker symbol M G O L. I say again, ticker symbol M G O L, also known as M G O Global Inc. Now this is an IPO. Now before we get into this video, I just want to let you guys know to check out the links in our description to the $5 Discord. For $5 a month, you guys can get all the IPO picks, news, etc. in our private pre-market Discord. Check it out. Links are in the description down below. Now, get yourself some food, do what you gotta do, relax, and let's get right into the meat and potatoes of the video. So, MGOL, or MGO Global Inc., as I said before, is an IPO that will be IPOing between January 12th and 13th. It's a NASDAQ, so that's that's where it's going to be IPOing, and the IPO price is going to be approximately $5 per share. The shares offered are 1.5 million shares, so the deal size is going to be $7.5 million. The, it's basically a United States company founded back in 2018, and it's basically the in the uh, consumer discretionary industry in the specialty real sales sector. Uh, right now, it's got a whopping four employees, meaning there's not a lot of employees there. But uh, all right, all right. It's a basically what they say here is that it's driven by a performance-driven lifestyle brand portfolio, and that's the type of company they are. Uh, they ba they're basically focused on leveraging fame, credibility, power, and global social media influence of world-class athletes, other cultural and other cultural icons to create product and apparel brands based on their brand partners' values. They signed a global licensing agreement in October 2018 which was later replaced with a Messi license with a soccer player by the name of Lionel Messi. M many of you have probably heard of this guy. He's a really well-known soccer player. Even I've heard of him, and I'm not even that into soccer. And basically, they signed this deal with him to spearhead a creation, and they created something called the Messi brand. So basically, they created like a, probably a series of shirts and other merchandise surrounding Lionel Messi, which is very interesting. So basically what they do is they take big influencers or celebrities or other big figures in pop culture, and they make, apparently, they, they make like a merch, they make all sorts of other things to basically promote the brand, which is, which is good. That's a very interesting little uh, business standpoint here. Now, the Messi brand is their first and only asset in their portfolio. That's that's the one thing. That's very uh that that's the one thing. Now, please note I am not a stock professional. I'm not a stock advisor. Do your own due diligence, but they only have one asset. That that's granted it's a big asset, but it's one. It's only one asset. Now, their intent is to expand their collection of lifestyle brands through industry collaborations as well as licensing, acquisitions, and organic brand development. As far as I'm concerned, my personal opinion on the stock is while they do have a very big asset, it's they, they only have one asset. They don't have multiple assets. Like if they if they did more deals with more people, then I then I myself would be personally interested in getting it. But I'm gonna hold off. Again, not stock advice. This is what I'm going to be doing. I personally am gonna hold off. But it ain't up to me. It's up to you guys. Remember to do your own due diligence, and please don't think I'm giving you advice because I am not. All right, don't go in the comment section. Ooh, you give me advice. And you... No, no, I'm not. I am not. So, that's pretty much it for me for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's Double Nicks. I love you guys, and I'm out. Peace. Bye-bye.